Today marks exactly one month since military operations began in the fight to take back Mosul. Tens of thousands of Iraqis are fleeing what some reporters are calling basically a horror film for fear of being used as human shields by ISIS. NBC's Lucy Kavanaugh traveled to one of those refugee camps just 12 miles outside Mosul, and she is joining us now. Lucy, take us there. What are you seeing on the ground where you are? That's right, Hallie. It's uh, one month since that offensive for Mosul kicked off, but more than two years that some of these civilians have been living under ISIS rule. And I got to say, I was here in Iraq when the city of Mosul fell, and some of the stories that we heard today were just painful to listen to. We were at a camp just 12 miles east of Mosul. Some of the people had arrived as recently as today. They were describing stories of torture, detentions. A group of women that we spoke to told us about an all-female ISIS brigade that they were more terrified fight of than the male fighters. Those women roamed the streets. They would beat the other women of Mosul at the slightest transgressions. Terrifying stuff. Now, a lot of the folks here arrived with nothing but the clothes on their backs. They need everything from food, shelter, and water. And as you mentioned, a lot of those folks, even though they're safe themselves, still have family uh, relatives inside ISIS-controlled territories. And that's what makes this stage of the fight so hard, Hallie. Uh, the civilians are trapped under ISIS territory. That means airstrikes are a lot more difficult. This is urban warfare, and the troops can't just go in there. They, they want to minimize casualties, and ISIS has also had two years to prepare for this. We're learning now that they reportedly used wooden decoy tanks to trick the uh, coalition airplanes from not attacking those areas. So a lot of uh, tricky maneuvers there, and a lot of those civilians have not been able to get out. Hallie? Uh, Lucy, let's talk a little bit about Donald Trump. The president-elect will obviously inherit this U.S.-backed operation in Mosul. So um, are people in Iraq concerned? How do you think that will affect the operation? Well, look, if you're talking about generals and politicians, I think there is some concern because it's not really clear which way the Donald Trump administration is going to go. On one hand, he's criticized the Mosul offensive. He's criticized the Obama administration for missing out on that element of surprise. On the other hand, he's talked about bombing the heck out of ISIS in some areas. So people don't really know what to expect. When it comes to the civilians, quite frankly, they're not tuned into uh, the details of the U.S. election. They're just concerned about getting out alive right. and making sure that their relatives come home safe. NBC's Lucy Kavanaugh, thank you very much for joining us here.